But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Notice that's a lowercase g right there, and that's talking about the devil is the God of this world right now. And if he can't get someone to reject Jesus Christ, he's going to try to cause confusion using religion, which is something, religion is something someone does in hopes of earning salvation. But that's a lie that will send people to hell because during this time, we cannot earn our way to heaven. It's only by trusting in what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross. He earned it for us. And if we accept that by trusting in his blood to pay for our sins and believing our gospel, that's 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, how that Christ died for our sins, was buried and rose again the third day, we're trusting in that instead of our own efforts. That is how salvation works today. And it's important to see these differences. Um, that at other places in the Bible, the, Satan is called um, the prince of this world, like such as right here, but this is a uh, First Corinthians chapter two, verse seven, right here. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the wisdom, hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. It's not even the devil knew that when they stoned Stephen, that God was going to pour out grace instead of wrath to, to form the body of Christ during this dispensation of grace that we live. I'll show you that here in just a minute. I just want to come back right here and compare that to Acts chapter 3 where Peter is talking. Remember, our apostle is Paul, not Peter. Peter's talking to Israel about things spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. This is before Acts chapter 8 when they stoned Stephen and before Acts chapter 9 when God uh, went to Paul on the road to Damascus. And compare this since the world began. Compare that I got it right here. Uh, this is Paul talking about my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began. We just saw it was kept secret because if the devil knew about it, he wouldn't. He would have tried to stop Jesus Christ from being crucified because uh, now we're, we're having the body of Christ be formed. Let me go ahead and flip over here and people hate the word dispensation like it's a bad word but it's it's used it's used in the Bible here there it says it right there's dispensation here we are in Ephesians which is one of the most important books to the body of Christ today for this cause I Paul the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles I just want to say in the body of Christ today, there is neither Jew nor Gentile. It, it's special that uh, we're saved through the fall of Israel, but we're not replacing Israel. As soon as the rapture happens, at the end of this dispensation of grace, God will go uh, back to putting the Jews in an elevated position uh, as they were before the stoning of Stephen. For If you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which has given me to you, or how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, 
as I wrote afore in few words, whereby when you read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ Jesus by the gospel. This is to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God who created all things in Christ Jesus. And we, we saw that that's so that they, they would not have crucified Jesus if, if this mystery was made known um, before. It's a very important that we rightly divide. And we know that not every gospel is to us today and uh, there's more than one church in the Bible. There's more than one baptism in the Bible. We're baptized by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ when we believe our gospel, how Christ died for our sins, was buried and rose again the third day. That's different than repent and be baptized in water for the remission of sins. That's Peter talking to the bride of Christ, Israel. That's not Paul, our apostle, talking to the body of to the body of Christ and um, to help prove that there's more than one church he I can't turn there right now because I only have one hand and my Bible's falling apart but um he you can look this up hopefully if you have a King James Bible Hebrews 2:12 translates Psalm 22:22 from congregation to church and that's the earthly kingdom church for Israel and the Old Testament saints that was prophesied uh, since the world began. And uh, Daniel 2.44 and Deuteronomy 7.6 talks about that they're going to inherit the new earth. It's going to be on earth. It's going to be an earthly kingdom where the body of Christ is going to inherit the new heaven. We're going up into heaven, which is even better um, than what the bride of Christ is inheriting. Today we are so blessed and the devil is working overtime to keep this wonderful news of our gospel uh, hidden from us. And um, I, I'm just trying to make this video to spread awareness and to, to help make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery and understand so that you don't, we don't get confused. And I'm not, a, I'm not an expert on this. I'm just trying to do my part with what I understand. Because I don't, I, I don't know everything, but I, I can't just sit here and be quiet uh, when people are getting confused, like thinking that, say, Matthew... Chapter 24, for example, is talking about the rapture. It's Matthew 20, chapter 24 has nothing to do with the rapture or the body of Christ because it had not been revealed to Paul yet. Only Romans through Philemon talks about the body of Christ and our rapture and our gospel. Because it, all these things were secret. It had to be secret. Because if the devil knew it, he and the princes of the world knew it, they would not have crucified Jesus Christ. And uh, I hope I did an okay job of just steering people in the right direction. Uh, I, I, I pray that people look up a more qualified person to teach about this. I'm still just a novice, just trying to do my part to be pleasing to God and to get ready for the judgment seat of Christ. I, I'd like to steer people towards great teachers like uh, David Reed of Columbus Bible Church and uh, David Osteen of Hope Bible Church. They teach right division, which is absolutely essential that we see uh, where it says in 2 Timothy 2.15, it says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth. And 
This is absolutely essential to learn how to rightly divide, or else the Bible would become confusing. You'll be reading things in Acts, I mean, uh, Matthew 24, if he thinks that's the rapture, that's going to cause all types of confusion and doubt, thinking that you have to add works um, to our gospel, which our gospel is not by works. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And that's from Paul, our apostle. That was a special revelation kept secret. That is different from other times where it is faith plus works for salvation. And you'll, you'll see people trying to say, well, James doesn't really mean what he says, that faith without works is dead. And when people see that and they read Matthew and they read James and they try to combine that with Paul, it just makes a big mess. And I pray for anybody saying this, that I'm not trying to act like I'm smart or anything. I'm just trying to do my part. I'm trying to be pleasing to our Heavenly Father. And I pray that whoever sees this, they look up Hope Bible Church and Columbus Bible Church. Right Division video is also, uh, Richard Jordan is also very good. Grace Ambassadors is another wonderful channel. And, and um, E.C. Moore is another great teacher who's not with us anymore. And um, this is non-denominational. I saw somebody saying in the YouTube comments, what, what denomination teaches us? Where are you getting this from? This isn't any part of any de denomination. This, this is the truth, and the truth is not popular. It, the devil is doing a great job. The devil, who we just saw, is the god of this world. You know, he, the god of this world, what do you think the god of this world controls? You, you should be obvious that he controls the music industry, and he controls lots of things. Lots of things that would make people upset. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it there, and I pray for anybody who sees this to study for themselves, to show, to make, uh, to show themselves approved unto God, because nobody else can do it for you. Uh, Truth is Christ YouTube channel is wonderful to sh for showing how um, the King James Bible is the Word of God, and Hope Bible Church and, uh, does wonderful of showing that how uh, the King James Bible is the Word of God and shows how these other versions aren't versions. That they're put out there by the God of this world and they they change the Bible in ways that are that that's, uh, should make him that, that's, that's wrong. And I, I just pray for anybody seeing this. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.